Hello, this is Elliot, W6EL, and I wanted to show you some of the new features in WFU and how I like to set my system up. When you first connect to the radio, it, it may look kind of like this, and usually I'll maximize it, and I'll adjust the height here until it looks how I want it to. One of the new features we have is this top and bottom adjustment, and I can bring the top down a little bit, bring the bottom up a little bit, and kind of maximize the plot and the waterfall around the range of signals that I'm receiving. So you see that signal over here. You know, you can do it like this and stretch it the full way if you want to. But I like to kind of bring this down a little bit, bring this up a little bit. It's uh, similar to adjusting the reference on the radio, but a little more flexible. I usually adjust the length a bit, make it look like this. Make sure you like the, uh, the height you're getting. Maybe I want to see a little more of the bottom. There we go. I like to use a different color scheme. Now this ion one is really pretty. It cycles through a lot of different colors. Let's get that how we want it. Okay. Now, we've got a lot of new features that I want to show you with regards to the appearance. And so if I just do like this, go over here to settings, and I press uh, user interface, and I press pop out. I'll move this over here so I can see both at the same time, and that's really handy for adjusting things. So the first thing I'm going to do is turn on a secondary meter. I really like having two meters. I'm going to choose uh, this one, TXRX Audio. Now it will show me the receive audio when I'm receiving. Oh yeah, here's some of that. And it'll show me the transmit audio when I'm transmitting. That's kind of handy. Uh, you can pick other things too, like SWR or ALC, whatever you need there. And another thing I like to do is uh, turn on what we call the underlay. And press this button right here. And pull the buffer size down a little bit. And what that does is it puts this plot behind the spectrum data that show us the average of what's coming through. Let me just uh, type in a bit of a different range here. There we go. That's a new feature too, by the way. Bring this down a little bit. Maybe we want to look at this guy a little bit closer. Um, there we go. So you can see the average moving behind there. If I turn the average buffer down really low, it's just kind of a smooth version of the original spectrum. And I tend to actually like that better, so I take the spectrum line here and change the color of it. I'm going to make this like a, a darker blue, kind of like that. Give it a little bit of transparency, um, like this. There we go. I like the way that looks. I can take the underlay line and make it a bit brighter if I want to. Maybe like that. There we go. I think that looks really pretty. So that's something you can do. You can play with a lot of the colors here. Um, I like to take the meter and change it a little bit. So the meter level. Make it like a, maybe a bright blue. That looks kind of neat, right? Dark blue. There we go. So I think that looks pretty cool. You can uh, take these color presets. If you like what you've got adjusted here, maybe we want to add a grid too, actually. Go for like a dark amber, kind of like an old monitor. See that? And uh, what else could we change here? Text. You want like a... Maybe a teal color here. Looks kind of neat, right? Uh, waterfall text. We can make it also a teal color. So you, if you like something like this, I'm not really sure I do, but anyway, you can uh, go to one of the presets here, or just you know take this one right here. Hit save preset. Give it a name. I don't know. Darkness, something like that. There it is. Save. So that's how you do that. Uh, the other modes we have here, there's peak, which will track the peaks, but they expire, which is something new. And you can adjust the uh, length of expiration with this control here. You can do peak hold like we used to have, where it just holds forever. Turn it off if you wish. I really like the averaging mode though, and I really like it set to a low value. So it's just a smoother version of what the radio gives us. 
Let's see, otherwise, we've got some new controls over here for the Spectrum. Um, in particular, if you're in fixed mode, you can define your own edges, pressing that button. And if you're in center mode, of course, we have the two fixed button where you can bring this mode into one of your fixed presets. Say if you want to go to edge four. Now edge four is programmed with the same range as this, the center that we had, except you know we can tune, which is nice. To make this go away, by the way, you notice there's no close button, just to maximize and minimize. We need to press this right here, reattach. When you press reattach, settings go back into a tab, and the program's like it was before. Another new feature we have is this log button. When you press this, it brings up a log. And this is the same log that we often had spoken about before, which has a lot of the details in it of how the program's operating. You can even annotate it. You can say, you know, about to change radios or whatever you wish, you know. It'll put it into the log for you. And then uh, if you want to share it with someone, you can press this button and it will connect to this website. It'll send the data there and it'll come back with a URL. And it's automatically copied to your clipboard. You just hit OK. And now if you open up a web browser, you can paste this in and you know, you'll see the log file. A little convenience function we have. And you can open up the log directory, copy the path, all this kind of stuff down here. You can see debugging if you want. Lots of information here. Uh, yeah, that's what that looks like. So yeah, that's what I wanted to show you. And I hope you're enjoying WFU. Take care. And 7-3. Remember, uh, I'll have to look them up in the old tube manual. Yeah, that's what they did to the uh, 4X150. They uh, took that glass ring out and put in a ceramic insulation in there and uh, called it a 4, uh, 4 cx uh, 250 A lot of more anticipation. Oh, yeah, with two of them, you could get a...